Exit West by Mohsen Hamid. Um, it's not a very big book. Um, I saw this and uh, there was a book review club going on at one of my, the local bookshops and they were reviewing this so I thought I'd get this because I got this, I had this at home. I've read a couple of his books before and uh, I really liked them. Uh, Moth Smoke was one um, which I liked. Um, there was another one called Reluctant Fundamentalist, which I wasn't, I'm not a big fan of, but you know, it, it achieved quite a bit of success, was turned into a movie. So this book, um, it's, like I said, it's not a very big book, and it's about, um, essentially it's a story about migration, and uh, also the breakup of a relationship, and the, the two protagonists are, um, somebody called Said and Nadia and they meet up in a country which is not actually named and it, but it's it sounds as if it's a, a kind of Muslim country where there's you know a lot of issues with the, you know with the, there's going through some sort of war so it could be Iraq um, I wondered whether it might be Karachi or maybe uh, somewhere Yemen or something but it's not clear where it is. And essentially they, they leave and go through these magical doors to another world. Uh, so they end up in Britain and then eventually end up in America. So there's a bit of magical realism in it, but um, that's essentially the story. It's the kind of breakup of a relationship. It's about migration, about leaving your old world behind and going to a new world and having to adjust. So, I'll be quite honest with you. I'd really like to say I liked it. Um, I think I, you know I, I like uh, supporting some of these uh, writers. Um, this is a guy who's um, from a Pakistani background, and there's a whole slew of these Pakistani writers who write in English, and some of them are really good. Uh, and you know he's had quite a lot of success. And I'd I'd really like to say that I liked this, but I didn't. Um, and the reason I didn't like it was I just couldn't connect to the characters. Um, I, I, I they didn't. It didn't sound like a real relationship to me. The characters didn't sound. Didn't I didn't feel. Um, I did, didn't particularly even like the characters, um, and it just uh, they they seem to go through too many changes. Like one second they're in whatever they are, and then they turn into these. Um, you know, kind of. Uh, you know. Uh, very different from what they were, you know, in terms of all sorts of things. Um, it didn't feel very natural. The other thing was, that I don't think it was that well written. Um, you know, and the prose was quite kind of, um, I would say, um, it was, it was very, I felt it was very kind of clunky. Um, so no i didn't i didn't particularly enjoy this book um i'm trying to look for a little um here here's i mean just just off the off the chance i've just opened up um uh you know a section and this is a paragraph and I'm just going to read it, and you know what I mean by the way it's, it's been written. Nadia did not feel like sleeping, and so she took a shower. The water chilled because of the intermittent gas supply to her boiler. She stood naked as she had been born, and put on her jeans and t-shirt and sweater, as she did when alone at home, and then put on her robe, ready to resist the claims and expectations of the world, of the world and stepped outside to go for a walk in a nearby park. That would be by now emptying of its early morning junkies and of the gay lovers who had departed their houses with more time than they needed for the errands they had said they were heading out to accomplish. It was just very kind of, and they've done this, and they did that, and then they did this, and they did that. And it, they were, For me, there was just something a bit kind of clunky about it. The, the, the characters, there was something artificial about them. Um, so, no, I mean... <clears throat> I mean, what else could I say? Uh, 
Yeah, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I, I've read some of his earlier books. Uh, like I said, Moth Smoke, I really liked. Um, I enjoyed it. This one, no. Uh, so you may want to get this just to see uh, what it's like if you're interested in ideas of migration. Although I didn't really feel like it even talked about, it. you know, migration. They got rid of the whole idea of migration by having them go through these magical doors instead of talking about the real troubles and difficulties of migration. So all of that was kind of taken away, uh, which is fine. I get that. But no, uh, I'm afraid not one of my favourite books. So I hope you like that. Um, but, you know, if you want to read it and tell me what you think, that's absolutely fine. Okay.